Well, the school year is wrapping up for most kids, but it doesn't mean that you can't keep kids interested and engaged in science. And so the Michigan Science Center stepping in to help for the last several weeks. They've been conducting live experiments on Facebook Live. And this morning we're joined uh, by Anna Sterner with one of those experiments. Anna is a science educator at the uh, Michigan Science Center. Anna, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? Uh, fantastic. You know, today's a big day. Michigan restaurants and bars are reopening. Museums can also reopening. Is there a date or uh, some sort of time frame for the Michigan Science Center to reopen? We are very excited that museums are allowed to reopen very soon. We are not opening just yet today. We are planning for a time in early July to reopen and let people back into the building safely. We're just taking a little bit of extra time to make sure that we have everything prepared and everything cleaned and sanitized before people come in and get to do science again with us in person instead of over a camera like we're doing today. Absolutely. You know, we definitely want to keep the kids safe. All right, so you have an experiment laid out there uh, in, fr in front of you. Uh, what type of experiment are you doing today? So later this week, we're gonna talk about chain reactions on Echo Live, which is our free program that happens at 2.30 p.m. every weekday on the Michigan Science Center's Facebook page. I have right now a long line of about 100 popsicle sticks all weaved together in kind of a specific pattern. If we take a little bit of a closer look at them, you can see that as I weave them back and forth, you can almost see the tension starting to form between these popsicle sticks. They really wanna go back to their original configuration. They don't like being like this. So we say that right now they have a lot of stored energy or potential energy being ready to release, just like you would get at the top of a roller coaster, right? The higher you go, the more potential energy you have ready to go once you make it over that hill um, to release that energy and turn it into the energy of motion, which we call kinetic. So now that we've built up all this potential energy now is obviously the most fun part we are going to convert it very, very quickly into kinetic energy. And all I need to do is just let it go. Are you ready? Yep, all set. Let's see what all it right, does. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, wow. <laughs> so just one really simple material. All you would need to recreate this at home is just some of these jumbo craft sticks. One material is enough to create a massive chain reaction. And really, it's limitless. You're only limited by the number of tongue depressors or craft sticks that you find. Yeah, and you know something, you know, kinetic energy, potential energy, that's actually high school physics. I mean, you certainly learn about that in physics, but this is something that seems accessible to kids at even at a pretty young age. It is. It's something we use every single day. Kinetic and potential energy are all around us, and it's something that we talk about quite a bit on Echo Live. Um, these programs are free, and we love to talk about fun experiments like this that even though the content might not be something you get to in school just yet, it can still be fun and accessible and attainable to kids and to families. This is one of my favorite experiments, um, even as an adult. Yeah, it certainly looks like a lot of fun. Anna, uh, since the school year is about to come to a close, are you guys going to keep doing these daily experiments, or is this only sort of to help uh, parents keep the kids engaged during the school year? So these programs will still take place every weekday through the end of June. And then after that, we'll still have Echo Live programming, but we'll probably drop down in frequency to about once a week. The programs will continue to be free because we have very, very generous sponsors like the Ford Motor Company Fund and Denso. Um, but we will continue doing these all year round, not just while we're closed to the public. All right. Well, they're certainly uh, educational and fun. That is a wonderful balance to keep kids entertained. Anna Sterner, an educator with the uh, Michigan Science Center. Thank you so much for joining us today. Before we go, where can folks find uh, your uh, experiments this week? Where, what's the website? Visit the Michigan Science Center's website, which is mi-sci.org. All right. Thank you so much, Anna. Take care. We'll see you next week.